Open Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. Topic, The Key to Divine Power. Memory Verse, Galatians 5.25 If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Bible Reading Acts 2, 1-4 And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The message. The power of God does not come cheap. I remember asking God to give me power to work miracles and he answered, start where Jesus started. I was excited, thinking I would repeat Jesus' first miracle until the Lord pointed Matthew 4 2 out to me, where Jesus started with 40 days of fasting and prayers. If you want power from God Almighty, you must be ready to conquer your flesh. When you are ruled by the Spirit, not the flesh, then God can trust you with power. If you can get addicted to fasting, prayer, studying the Bible, and holiness, then you are a candidate that God can consider for the possession of divine power. When I talk about holiness and living above sin as one of my major secrets of power, some people think I'm only being legalistic. But when you read Hebrews 1 9, you will see that you must love righteousness and hate iniquity for God to anoint you. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9 27 that he put his body under subjection. He said also that he fasted often. 2 Corinthians 11.27 What was the result of all this? Acts 19.11-12 says that when demons saw his handkerchiefs, they ran. That is power. When I am fasting and emphasizing holiness every day, I know what I am doing. I am seeing the results in my life, so I will not stop. Several years ago, the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International invited me to preach on the new anointing. By the time I had finished speaking, I had to sneak away into the car because everybody wanted to touch me. There was a man running after me with a handkerchief in his hand. Fortunately, he was able to reach the car and he rubbed his handkerchief on it before I drove off. Back at home, there was a little girl who was so demon-possessed that it took six men to hold her down. He arrived on the scene, touched the girl with the handkerchief, and she became normal again. If you want this type of power, you must be willing to pay the price. You must learn to put your flesh under subjection and God will give you power to do great things for him. Key point, you must start minding spiritual things above physical ones if you want the power of God in your life. Bible reading in one year, Romans 15 to 16. Him for today, praise him. Praise Him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer.
The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.